Welcome to Lakeshore RV. I'll be walking you through your torque today. In the very front, you got your tongue jack, you got a light, as well as the retract and an extend switch. Right behind it, you got two 30 pound LP tanks, both full. Regulator is going to be in the middle of them here. The way you point it is going to be the way the tank it uses. You point it there, it's going to use that tank. Point it here, it's going to use this tank right here. You got a 12 volt battery, deep cell battery right behind it. You got white. LED lights here. These are controlled from the front. I mean, uh, from the control panel inside. Generator here on the on the driver's side. You got to push and hold prime for three for five seconds. Push and hold start for five seconds. You check your oil here. Right to the left, you're gonna have VIN, tire pressure, model, everything you need to know about your camper here in these stickers. Exhaust for your generator. Come down the driver's side here. Underneath the slide, you're going to have your sewer connection. On the driver's side, you're going to have the rear door access that goes right into the garage. Right to the right, you're going to have your 50 amp hookup, as well as inlets for your cable and satellite. Unleaded fuel inlet, that's going to run your generator as well as your auxiliary nozzle here and there. As well as, it, here's your switch to turn them on. Just know you, if you use your generator all night, you want to make sure you got enough fuel for your auxiliary toys. Drop down porch and loading ramp. Coming over to the passenger side, you got, you're going to have switch, a switch like this in the front as well as in the rear. These are going to control the stabilizer jacks underneath the unit. One will go down and then the other one will go down. Uh, same thing with the front, they will control both, both fronts up there. Hand crank rail will let down your spare tire. On this side, on the passenger side, you have drop down porch with the three seasons door, as well as that awning. Uh, it's controlled from inside with the awning light. Audio is controlled from inside. I'll show you when we get there. Going up behind the door here, you're gonna have your fresh, your portable water fill, spray port nozzle. Black tank flush, if you're using this flush tank, this flush system, make sure your black tank is open. If you have a full black tank and you go to use this flush valve system, it's going to overfill in your bathroom. To the right, you got your city water connection. If you're going to just plan on using the pressure and water out of the hose. Above, you're going to have your your furnace, uh, furnace exhaust. Watch out, it gets extremely hot, so make sure nothing's leaning up against it. Right below it, you're going to have your water heater here. There's your front front stabilizer jacks inside this little pass through here you're gonna have uh, a bar for the override the stabilizers as well as one to get your spare tire down 30 to 15 amp adapter 30 to 50 amp adapter sewer hose spray nozzle battery disconnect right to the right inside this compartment Let's go ahead and go inside your unit here inside your unit and your main door right when you walk in you're gonna see down at the floorboard breakers and fuses you look up, you're going to find your control panel. This is going to be a thermostat. You're going to see these throughout your unit. Push it one time for acknowledge. Push it twice for fan. Push it three times for cool. Push it four times for furnace. Fifth off. Above it, these little dials are going to show you the levels of your unit. Water pump, water heater, gas side. Cabin lights, these are going to be inside. The cap lights, those are going to be the LEDs off the front. Porch and awning light here. That's going to be the porch light will be for the amber light above the door. Awning light, of course, the white one. Middle, nothing. Auxiliary lights, those are going to be the white lights on the outside on the back. The slide out control here. Bringing this slide in and out. Make sure this bathroom door is shut all the way. Awning control here. We're going to start from your master bedroom and work our way back. Master ba bedroom, you could start your, your generator from in the master bedroom. You got individual lights above each side of the bed. On the, passenger, uh, on the passenger side of the master bed, you're going to have a black light switch. That's going to control the LED lights above. Inside this room, the light switch is going to be right to the left here. Going inside the bathroom is pretty self-explanatory. you got a GFI breaker on the, uh, on the left of the sink, as well as the light switch and fan controls to the left of the door. Slide out. You got individual lights. You'll see these lights throughout your unit. They're going to be little tap lights with a button in the center. LED light is controlled on the very top by the light switch uh, near the fridge. 
fridge is going to be propane or short power. But you'll be able to indicate what one when you turn it on. Auto, that's going to be as soon as it gets disconnected from short power, it's going to use propane. If it beeps at you, it means you're probably out of propane. If you look at your faucet, you're going to have your keys around your sink. TV hookup's going to be up above. You have your microwave. Your microwave is the best indicator if you have short power. If if you are hooked at at least 30 amps, this microwave will be working. Right now, we're just running the 12 volt system. Here on the stove top, you're just going to use it like an outdoor grill. You're going to turn the knob over to the flame and use your igniter. Audio zone one and zone two. Zone two is going to be outside. Zone one is going to be inside. You can control the temps. You can have them both on or uh, volume. You can have them both on, one off. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. Going inside your garage, this patio slider here, this three seasons door, this will drop out to your porch. Here inside the garage area, you're going to have a light switch right left of the door, or right of the door coming in from inside. Bed lift control. That bed lift control switch is going to um, bring down this bed and the couch. So if you move it right now, the couch is just going to come down. Now to, to get the bed down, you have to pull each clip at each, uh, you got four corners here, one, two, three, and four. There's a clip at each corner on the couch where you got to pull it and then bring the couch to a flat. So you'll bring out the pin, bring out the pin. You get a lift up on the, the couch side. You're going to make sure it's in the lock position. You'll be able to see there. Now with it in a lock position, now you can go all the way to the top. Until it can't go up anymore. And you'll pull. There's one of these pins at each, each corner. To release that bed. That bed is going to be guided down by this couch. And stop and then the tracks just where the little peg is. Now you have the couch down. And you pull the four pins on the bed. That bed's going to fall and hit you in the head. So be careful. Uh, use that couch to guide it down. Table. This table is going to be for back here when you got the couch set up. This one's going to be for in front of your your uh, your sofa. Pulls for it there, as well as fire extinguisher, um, keys, or info manual, power cord, everything you need to know is going to be in that box. I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for choosing Lakeshore. Have a great day.